Assalamu alaikum, good afternoon, and welcome to Knowledge Talks. A weekly entertainment program aired live specifically to share with you topics that contribute knowledge to the society. News, interviews with guests, tips, question and answer, and yes, knowledge topics will be shared with you throughout the program. Of course, if time permits during the hour, and yes, every week this will alternate. Some week we have news, some we've got interviews, some tips, questions, and answer session. But the objectively is, ladies and gentlemen, knowledge will be shared. This program, ladies and gentlemen, is a weekly session that I will have with you every Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. I'm your host, Tarek Khalal Barwani, with our studio engineer, DJ Frank, for an hour bringing you free knowledge at your doorstep on Oman Radio FM 90.4. Let us take a quick music break before we start our session and our theme for today. Welcome back to Knowledge Talks, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Tarek Khalal Barwani, along with our studio engineer, DJ Frank, with you here live today on Oman Radio FM 90.4. You might have heard about SPACE, a new initiative to develop talent in Oman for women and kids, an initiative that aims to unlock people's potential through various activities. SPACE is an initiative that you must not miss to learn about. Our guest today, ladies and gentlemen, is the talented entrepreneur behind this creative initiative, Rehab Ahmed Ibrahim, a BA graduate in business administration with over nine years work experience in marketing and sales uh, and project management. Rehab today will share with us about the center, the vision, the workshop and how you can benefit for the same. Rehab, salamu alaikum and how are you doing today? Wa alaikum salam. How are you Tariq? I'm very good. It's good to see you always. Oh, oh the pleasure is mine <laughs> in fact. Uh, first and foremost, let me take this opportunity to congratulate you for this creative and society impacting initiative, SPACE. Thanks. MashaAllah, I have been seeing the, the, the I've, I've been reading about the in initiative through various uh, media and, and I'm in fact uh, one of your fans in, in, in the Instagram and you've got your page on the Facebook as well yeah. and today what I hope is for people to also learn about space and the activities you do about but let's just go one step back and come to the point of defining what is space um, SPACE is a talent development center for uh, the youth, for women and kids uh, particularly. Uh, we look at kids from the age of six uh, and women from all age groups. Okay. Uh, it looks at developing their talents, their skills in various uh, um, lines and categories. Um, um, I'm naming few as examples, um, arts and crafts, um, lifestyle, fashion and beauty, um, um, diff different categories, anything that could be of any interest to the ladies, uh, to the women, and to the kids as well. Okay. And, and this center, when did it start? Uh, exactly a month back. So today I'm celebrating a one month uh, for the uh, for the newborn space. Wow, mashallah, mashallah. <laughs> so we're celebrating it together. Mashallah, wow. Ain't this, this is a great opportunity, mashallah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very Rehab. much. Thanks. Rehab, we have worked together, in fact. And, and uh, you have been one of the, the, the talented people that I've Thanks. always seen, mashallah. In fact, I have seen that you've got uh, uh, the, the foresight of coming up with something. I didn't know about space. But mashallah, when you came up with space, I wasn't surprised. Okay. Uh, mashallah, and 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 it's very few people, you know, who always think, including myself, mm -hmm. I would like to become an entrepreneur, and then uh, people who come out and take the step. And mashallah, I congratulate you for that. Thank of you. course, we're gonna look into the entrepreneur part uh, of how could someone. Uh, uh, take the step from being a professional to an entrepreneur later in the program. Yes. But now let's go back into space, the initiative that you have started. Uh, why do you call it space, by the way? Uh, 
Uh, well, because it has more than one uh, element. Space is, is basically a space for you to come and show us your talent. Okay. It's a space of creativity. Uh, and it's also literally space that you can rent okay. uh, if you want to run your own workshops or if, uh, let's say, you have, um, if you're a photographer and you don't have a studio of your own or if you're a beauty, beauty uh, artist and uh, like a beautician and you don't have your own salon, then you can rent the space and run your own uh, workshops okay. or uh, uh, use it as a photographer. Uh, studio. Uh, in addition to that, we also uh, have a space to rent for those um, young entrepreneurs who are, who are having home business, for example, mm -hmm. or even if they're having a, um, a set set up business, but they're mm -hmm. willing to expand their market. They can rent a space and sell their items through space as well. Oh, mashallah, that's very. Uh, very that's how you know the word space came in because I was looking for a word that could uh, describe everything that we're doing in one word, okay. and there where space comes. And believe me, it's a very beautiful name, it's <laughs> a very you. creative name, it's a very powerful name because it says what you're doing. Now, uh, this is specifically for kids and women. Yes. Kids and women who would like to utilize the space. Yes. Uh, and I understand from it is that you've got workshops as well yes. that you're doing. Uh, could you tell us what of kind, so you started a month ago? Exactly, a month ago. How many back. workshops have you done so far? Oh, uh, over 15, I would say. MashaAllah. Uh, yes, over 15 for the past. Uh, of course, the f there were a few off days, so and uh, each workshop could run up to three to four days. Uh, one of the workshops was running, the longest was running for five days. So, okay, uh, so yeah, 15 in, gen in, in total. Uh, okay. Just just to uh, mention something, Tariq, you were yeah. mentioning about uh, me focusing or space focusing on uh, women and kids. Yeah. Uh, however, when it comes to renting the space, uh, that's not limited to only women and kids. Uh, mm -hmm. So if a photographer wanted to rent the, the studio or if uh, a person is willing to run their own workshops and is looking for a place to conduct a workshop in, then that's not limited to women. It, it's open for everyone. Oh, very basically. Good. But the workshops that we run as space uh, yeah. are mainly uh, focusing on women and kids. What about if a male mm. who would like to run a workshop yes. utilizing uh, the center's uh, space by running a workshop and promoting yes. about it? Is that mm. possible? Yeah, of course, that's m possible. Very where much. are you, Rihanna? <laughs> so now I know where to go if I would like to have a space. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a place, a space for you to get a, a creativity and innovative idea by Rehab for you all, a space to get and also to attend to create your workshops as well. This is fantastic. We're having it in, in Oman, mashallah. Um, how can people know about space? I know about it, but I would like you to tell us how. what are the ways to know about it. Um, there are various ways uh, where people can learn about space. Uh, uh, we're very much active on social media. Uh, since the people we're targeting are mainly, you know, focused on social media, social media is becoming a very uh, effective tool uh, in marketing, in getting to, to all the people you want, reaching to your target uh, market. Uh, so we're very much active on social media. However, it's not the only uh, mean of communication that we are using currently uh, we're also uh, having PRs from time to time in the in the media um, uh, we're, we're also being uh, interviewed by people okay. like okay. you right. thank you very much so it's also the the, the different media channels and uh, we also uh, um, use the word of mouth since it's the most uh, effective mean of communication in Oman. So uh, we we approach people directly uh, through promoters and uh, directly uh, through our own employees and we inform people and uh, explain to them what space is all is about. Mashallah, what are the addresses that you have? For example, uh, I'm looking at the social media. Yes. Instagram, for instance, you've got Space Oman. It's Space Oman in all our social media. So it's at Space, space Oman on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, which is not very much there yet since yeah. the target market of women and kids are not into LinkedIn uh, okay. as much as uh, professional people okay. uh, but uh, on the other media channels we're on Space Oman okay ladies and gentlemen that it is the address Space Oman as in S P A C E Oman you could log in Instagram as right now Space Oman Facebook and also uh, on Instagram and you can be able to see the various great uh, initiative that it comes in in fact I myself time by time when i keep on going to my instagram go into space Oman, i get to see the various activities and workshops are there uh, i hope to see also male coming in and creating up their workshops as well uh so of course rehab is here so uh, uh, life becomes very very easy mm -hmm. now what about uh, now this is about space creating the initiatives and then promoting about them what about if uh, the people that are using the space mm -hmm. how are they 
do, I mean, is there any way that you're helping them also to promote their uh, uh, initiatives? Uh, yes. Uh, if, let's say, you have a product that you want to sell, uh, all you have to do is uh, approach us, explain to us about the product, rent a space uh, within the, the space shop that we have. Um, later on, everything else is, is on us. Um, a part of the, the deal that you have with us is that we do the selling part for you, so you don't have to um, uh, dedicate a person, a full-time employee, to look after your stuff and sell them okay. we sell them for you we explain to the customers what your product is all about um, and as an additional service that we also provide to our customers is that we um, promote your product through our uh, media channels from time to time so it's not a one-time uh, advertisement that we do for you but we keep on reminding customers about your products and their benefits and how, how to get them and uh, and and we, we take it from there okay what about where is the which is which is this is very very good because you know uh, you can find people who are very very talented but they don't know how to go out and speak about their very activities true. their workshops and very mashallah true. space provides that yes. nothing like that yani, mashallah. Uh, where is your location we're in Adeba. Okay. Uh, we are on the 18th November Street. Um, okay. There is an Oman oil uh, petrol station. So if you take uh, uh, left from the petrol station, you'll find us uh, on the left. Okay, so you take the left from the petrol station and you will find it yes, on the Yes, from the traffic lights. Yes. Okay, you've got your banner available. We, of this, course, yes. Uh, as, as we as actually have three banners. Don't ask me why, but wow, we have three <laughs> instead of one. <laughs> Just to make sure that we cover people coming from both sides. Okay, uh, yeah, so. okay. mashallah. That's very, very good. And what are the time? for the center uh, we're open from nine o'clock until eight o'clock uh, nine a.m. to eight p.m. continuously nine nine a.m. to nine p.m. to eight p.m. to eight p.m. Yes. continuously continuously okay that's that's very very nice so uh, that's how uh, ladies and gentlemen you can be able to reach to space you could also be able to contact them via the social media and of course today you've got an opportunity here we have an hour program to call in in six zero uh, two four sorry two four six zero <laughs> two zero five eight that's the number to call in, 24602058 if you have any question. We're going to take a quick break before we continue our session today. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Knowledge Talks. I'm your host, Farah Khilal Barwani, along with our studio engineer, DJ Frank. And of course, we today have the founder herself, Rehab of Space, with us here at Oman Radio FM 90.4. Ladies and gentlemen, the number to call in is 24602058, but you could also send us your text messages on 90406. Rehab, before the music break, we talked about the space, the initiative that you've come up, the center that you have launched, which is, mashallah, I think is very, very useful. And it is something that definitely here people in Oman would need to come and innovate, to come up with their creative workshops and also a space for them to rent as well. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the next workshop you have? Uh, the next workshop, actually the next series of workshops would be our summer packages that we're having for kids and teenagers. Okay. Uh, they, uh, we, we're trying to mix the word of uh, technology uh, okay. with um, with the development of the skills. Uh, people, we, we're trying to let the kids stay a little bit away from the usual video games and uh, their laptops and their iPads mm -hmm. and all these techno uh, gadgets that they're having, which is almost impossible. Yes, and, and, and I really like that especially now that uh, uh, the summer is coming up yes uh, schools will soon be closed exactly and uh, definitely having the kids sitting on these devices and yes them is that's why we're, we're trying to combine them so we have a series of uh, technology related workshops that okay. will uh, let the kids um, be out there create something but at the same time use the technology to to benefit them with the with the games that they will be designing so they will have to design some uh, 3d games they will uh, oh. yeah they, they will design their own 3D character uh, and, and we're talking about kids aged 6 and plus so okay. as, as young as uh, 6 kids could actually uh, create their own uh, characters uh, using just technology. That's very, very good. Yes. When is the workshop going to start? Uh, we're Because of all the examinations and everything that's happening and the mm. uh, exams period, we're trying to uh, uh, push everything until the 15th of uh, June. Okay. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll be having something on the second week of June as well, but uh, uh, the main uh, summer program will start from uh, the 15th onwards. Very good. So 15 uh, of June, ladies and gentlemen, for those who've got their kids and would like to show their kids get a, a, a learning of using technology in a better way, where can you go uh, then space? Um, now, the other question I have is, you said six and above. Six and above for the kids, yes. Is the above, is it 18 years old? Uh, I would say 16. 
Oh, to, to 16 I'll years say old. 16 for now for this series of uh, technology workshops that we're having okay. um, but we will also be having uh, different uh, non-technology related workshops and okay. that would be for women and uh, and kids as well oh that's fantastic we have a caller on air uh, let's just pick up the call hello hello very hello hello hi hi how are you I'm absolutely fine. Uh, just wanted to sort of make sure. I mean, I, I hear that uh, we could use space.com to um, to advertise and sell. Would that be right? Uh, well, it's not exactly right. Uh, you could use space uh, to advertise your products if you're selling your products through space. Uh, that's the only time where we actually uh, advertise and help you promote your products to the client. Okay. Um, l l just, just for uh, just for clarification sake, um, I, I have a, a tourism company uh, at the marina. Uh, we have our boats and you know uh, ships and all of that. Uh, if I wanted to sell the product, the, the product in terms of the the trips that we have, um, should I contact you? Uh, yeah, you can find all our contact details on Instagram. You can contact me and we can work something together. No problem. Done. And uh, what would be the number that I need to, uh, it's or, the, or a website that I need to get in touch with? It's uh, you can call nine seven triple three triple two. Nine seven triple three triple two. Yes. Yeah, that's a nice number. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. Nine seven triple three triple two. Okay, that's easy to remember. And and I'm sorry. What's your name? Rehab. Jihad. Rehab with an R. Like a rehab. Oh, rehab, rehab. Okay, <laughs> done, done. So I'll call you. Uh, so it's nine seven triple three triple triple two. Yes. And I call you, and I and, uh, and, and but but it is possible, yeah. I mean, I can I can you know feed in information in terms of uh, the sales that I require, and uh, you could possibly uh, use the uh, the social media and and hopefully get in some business. Um, I'll just have to meet with you first and learn a little bit more about your business and what you have in mind and then we can agree on something. Inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. we'll do that. And well, thank you so much. No and I so also much. recommend you to visit the Instagram page. You'll get the opportunity to see the kind of activities they have. You'll be also uh, uh, get to see the kind of... Could you repeat got... that again? Is that Instagram space? It's, uh, it's uh, Space Oman on Instagram. You can follow ah, us and you will have a better... Space on Instagram, okay. Yes, Space Oman, exactly. Done, khala. Done, I'll, I'll Ishama, uh, call you back. And, and, and it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much Thank for you very much. having me. You're very welcome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the number to call in is 2460-2058. And you can also send us a message on 90406. Uh, That's the, the, the number to call in. Today we have Rehab with us here with us live so this is an opportunity later you might not get this opportunity I'm just kidding <laughs> yeah but that that was a very nice number so what's the number it says <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know the story behind the title <laughs> <Mashallah. laughs> okay um, uh, uh, we, we go uh, we know that they've got uh, sessions for the kids that yes. is starting up very soon 15th of June inshallah yes. uh, we have looking at uh, uh, the work first thing, how, how many people are you working there for the center uh, our employees. Yes. Uh, we actually have only two. Uh, okay. Two are the permanent staff that we have. Okay. Uh, however, the people that conduct the workshops are on. Uh, they're freelancers, basically. They're on temporary basis. Okay. Uh, we hire them to run a workshop, okay. and uh, they stay with us for as long as the workshop takes. Okay. And you, uh, the team, and yourself are the ones who design the workshops. We design the workshops. We manage them. We uh, advertise to our customers. Uh, we we do everything else, basically. Okay. Yeah. That's it's amazing and then um how does it go about when you go about the spacing mm. as i would like to take a space uh, at, at space yes uh, and uh where do where can i find the information about the price it's not on the website uh the no uh the prices are not on the website and okay. they're not on any of our uh, social media because it all varies it depends on uh which room you want to uh, ha uh you want to rent and uh what's the the time period we're looking at okay. uh so the best way to go about it is to contact us uh, visit the place have a look at the space you want to rent okay. and we agree on uh, on everything else later okay that's amazing number to call in ladies and gentlemen is two four six zero two zero five eight if you have any questions related to space this is the time we're going to take a quick break before we continue our session today <laughs> 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Knowledge Talk. This is Tariq Hilal Barwani along with our studio engineer, DJ Frank. And of course, we have we have Rehab from Space. Uh, Rehab, we talked before the music break about the workshops. And uh, we have also uh, uh, spoke about how could people avail uh, the center. Now, I want to look at one thing, Rehab. You are an entrepreneur. I've also worked with you. Uh, I've learned a lot from you, mashallah. <laughs> Uh, uh, the thing that I would like to learn today, and I'm sure our, uh, others would like to learn as well, is the entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial part. Mm. Uh, uh, and to start with, I would like to go and uh, one step back and say, what made you create the center? Um, there were lots of reasons why I created the center, but uh, probably the major uh, reason why uh, Space Oman uh, exists today, I- I've been... I've been calling it Space Oman for some reason, <laughs> even yes. though it's only space. It's Space yes. Oman on social media. Um, however, uh, the the main reason why we did space was the lack of cert- such activities in Oman. Uh, women in Oman didn't have a place to go to um, uh, in order to develop their skills or to uh, uh, learn something new during their uh, spare time or uh, whether they were working women or uh, housewives. Um, and the same applies to the kids and probably even more. Uh, kids Kids didn't have any place to go to other than the playgrounds that we have or uh, uh, the playing centers that that we have in, in Oman. Uh, therefore, we thought of um, coming up with an idea that could uh, serve both the parties and could uh, also help them develop their skills. And at the same time, it would be a fun uh, learning uh, center that they could come to even if there weren't any workshops that were running at that uh, particular time. They could simply come and enjoy a painting or or just relaxing at the center okay now moving off from the organization that you were working with and then joined up i mean not created the whole experience of creating up the organization yes. what are the different challenges or learning that you can share for people that would like or people i know there's a lot many people who are thinking out there to go out to become an entrepreneur what are the kind of advices that you can share throughout the uh, whole journey uh, there are lots of things. I mean, when it comes to the challenges, uh, I would say that um, finding the right support is sometimes a challenge, uh, whether it's a financial support that you need or uh, or even admin support that sometimes you need uh, when it comes to fi- finalizing your paperwork or finding the right uh, place or um, finding the right approvals to go about your project. Uh, so th- there, there is a number of challenges, but these challenges shouldn't be something that stops you from uh, going ahead and and uh, achieving what your, your your aim is especially if you really believe in the idea that you have um, and when it comes to what I think people should look at uh, before starting their own business the, the main idea is to uh, or the main point is to have a, an idea to have a winning idea mm. uh, an idea that you've uh, thought about you've studied the market um, uh, you even spoke to people about it uh, get some ideas and if you believe that this is the right idea that will work in this market then everything else will just follow okay and uh, the idea of space was something that you thought about it and you knew about it you were planning to do it before you even left the organization we're working yes, for. of course. Uh, nice. Yes, um, leaving an organization that you work for to to do your business to me is something very critical. Uh, mm. Lots of people hesitate to take the step. Mm. Uh, it's it's a big risk. Mm. Uh, I'm not saying that it's not, and I'm not mm. saying it's easy. Mm. Uh, but uh, there need to be a little bit of a sacrifice when it comes to achieving your your dream. Um, you cannot uh, fully give to your business unless you're fully dedicated. Um, uh, to me, taking that step was not very easy. Yeah. However, it was necessary to for me to do and to accomplish what I've accomplished for now uh, for space. Uh, it was not easy to to just leave a work uh, or a job that you've been working on for nine years. But yeah. um, at times, you have to select on. Uh, you have to set your priorities and True. think of where do you want to put all your energy or all your uh, thinking, all your uh, time at. Okay, and uh, definitely, uh, of course, we'll learn it from you, but you need to be passionate about whatever you Of course, you're doing. of yeah. course. Uh, yeah. That's probably number one, and it comes along with the idea. So, and, and I assure you, if you were not passionate enough about your idea and about mm-hmm. your business, you will never leave um, a current job that you're, you're running on a daily basis or a full-time job uh, to do that. Mm-hmm. It, takes, it takes that much from you. It takes, you need to have all that passion and, and the love to, for the idea. You need to believe in the idea, and that, that, that's when... 
you can take the next step and leave uh, yeah. leave a job. Definitely, mashallah. Now, looking at the working for the organization, you're telling me you're working from eight. The, the center is open from eight to nine. I don't from know. From nine to eight, actually. Nine to nine to eight. And yes. Are you there nine to eight? Uh, mostly yes. <laughs> okay. So, but the number of hours is it more than working? It's for? much more. Uh, okay. Even though when you work, especially for a, uh, for a private sector, you you tend to think that you're working extra hours and you're putting so much effort and so much energy in it. Mm. Uh, however, the, having your own business uh, mm. takes three times more the energy and the time and the efforts, um, both physical and uh, mental uh, 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 efforts mm. that okay. you put into your business. Mm. Mm. Uh, however, it's worth it. Um, uh, at the end of the day, when you see your, your center uh, taking work. shape and, and when you see the, the workshops that, are, that have been uh, planned for for so so long um, that's the time where you think that it's worth it and you forget yeah. all about you know all the all the efforts and all the uh, pain sometimes that you've put into yeah. uh, let, let me put it this way rehab when I was sitting and then saying okay of course I know rehab and then rehab is no longer working with us in the company and then I see rehab mashallah coming on the show I said that that's <laughs> what I should do that's what everyone should do in fact that's why we invited you today here uh, on air to speak about your 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 mashallah success and inshallah Allah diamond inshallah all the best now what experience have you taken from the organizations that you are applying it to uh, uh, space um, a lot uh, there is a lot that I'm, I'm, I'm applying uh, from the learning of uh, the nine years or let's say ten years of uh, work experience that I have um, I do agree that you need to at some at some stage uh, do your own thing and, and start your own company and put all your energy in it however um i i don't underestimate all the all the um all the experience that you take and you build from your previous uh, uh jobs or uh, you know even the academic uh, learning that you've you've been through uh so uh, working in sales working in marketing and project management has helped me has added so much into me um whether from the personal level or uh, when it comes to personality or uh things that i'm actually applying on my new job uh, on my new project for now so there's so much that you can learn and and then anything that you learn throughout your journey of life can be implemented later on definitely and you see that definitely now you uh, see it on a daily basis mission. actually yes yeah alhamdulillah mashallah um we are going to take a quick break ladies and gentlemen because before we continue our session today Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Knowledge Talks. Uh, I'm your host, Tarek Hilal Al Barwani, along with our studio engineer, DJ Badri, and we have uh, Sheikh Hatim, of course, there. And uh, of course, with us here today is Rehab, the founder of Space. Rehab, we spoke about uh, uh, the advices. Uh, you shared about the advices of, of an entrepreneur. What does it mean to start up a business? Now, the question that I would like to ask you is, uh, what kind of things uh, 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 would a non-entrepreneur or a professional working mm -hmm. in an organization miss from uh, an organization if he or she uh, jumps into the bandwagon of entrepreneurship? Mm -hmm. And what are the things that uh, uh, he or she would get from becoming an entrepreneur i'm really looking at the pros and cons, cons. entrepreneur mm. and non-entrepreneur um i would say uh let's start with the positive side of of the things uh leaving a job that uh, a full-time job uh, and starting your own business could benefit you from more than in more than one angle uh one of them is that uh, you're your own boss. Uh, you take the decisions. Uh, if you have an idea, you can implement it. It doesn't have to go through the whole uh, approval system and, and, all the uh, and all the changes and all the restructuring. And all and the bureaucracy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, so it doesn't have to go through that line of, uh, of approvals and... and um, and, and management and everything else. You're your own boss. You you get to take the decision. You do what what's what's right from you for you. Uh, I remember before taking the step, I was reading a book about uh, starting your own business, and the best 
the best sentence that I liked about it is that it keeps on repeating the sentence that you can do this or that. It's it's up to you because you're your own boss. So yeah, yeah. and that's kind of motivating because you know that you have you have so many ideas. Sometimes in the business for in in uh, organizations for some reason or the other you cannot implement every idea that you can think of. Uh, right. Sometimes because of policies or uh, or different uh, reasons. Uh, yeah. However, uh, when it's your own business, you can do what you believe is right for the organization to do. So. Uh, you've got that flexibility. Uh, again, the flexibility of the timing as well. Um, uh, you tend to decide uh, when is a good time for you to work, uh, when do you run your own uh, uh, meetings, mm. when to meet people, when is a good time for you to, to sit back and relax a little mm. bit. So you have that flexibility. In addition to all that, you've got something that at the end of the day, this is yours. Uh, mm. it, it remains for you and for your kids and for your family. Mm. Uh, that, that's uh, your business is something that will inshallah stay uh, inshallah. for a lifetime uh, it's not a job that you are at a risk of losing one day or if you decide to leave then you have to find another job to support a family uh, this is something that could stay for ages it yeah. will run from you to your uh, kids and then grandkids inshallah no, not only that I mean uh, uh, I, I like the thought also you can go holiday anytime well not really <laughs> I thought so <laughs> but not really if that's the reason you want to leave a job then please think again <laughs> stay, stay where you work uh, yeah actually there are no holidays once you have your own business because your mind at the end of the day it's yours that sense of ownership uh, keeps you alert 24 yeah. 7 uh, yeah. you remember things after midnight you wake up to write them down so that you don't forget them the next day uh, yeah. if you want to go on a leave then you have to make sure that you've covered everything uh, before you go unlike in an organization all you have to do is just hand over to someone else who yeah. can take care and then you can just switch off uh, and the business world there is no switching off Ouch. Uh, yes yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's uh, that's probably one of the negative if you want to call it a negative yeah, uh, yeah. element however it's not really w when you're in love with that thing when yeah. you're in love with the idea and you have the passion to it you don't really feel the pressure of that sometimes you do yeah. want to switch off and and uh, relax a little bit and you know switch off completely from the business and the numbers and everything yeah. but um, uh, you, you still you cannot basically yeah. because you know that you have to be in charge and on top of things yeah. all the time which that brings me to uh, the question of characteristics that you would recommend mm. for person to uh, become an entrepreneur or to jump the bandwagon of entrepreneurship mm. what kind of a characteristic for example being a risk taker is one uh, yes being a risk taker is a very important one uh, you will not be able to take the first step until you take that risk uh, the risk could be even if you're not willing to let your uh, let go your job and you're you're uh, you'll just start a side business uh, there is a risk that you're taking whether financially or even a risk of um, putting so much time and energy into something that you're not 100% sure is going to work yeah. uh, so yes, definitely you have to be a risk taker. You have to be a, somehow a leader, uh, a decision maker, um, and you have to be very organized and, and uh, time management is also a very critical one. Um, however, these things are things you can actually learn with time. You can develop yourself. Um, I wouldn't um, advise anyone to just decide after hearing our show that they want to start their own business and jump the next day and do something mm. um, there is so much that you have to work on yourself for is there uh, whether through uh, attending workshops or uh, developing your skills uh, mm. or skills that you can actually learn from your day-to-day -day job uh, mm. you can read books you can watch uh, shows that help you develop your skills and, and make you a better entrepreneur no, I, I love that does space give workshops on entrepreneurship? of course <laughs> I love that I and love that. Uh, we have something that's coming hopefully very soon I cannot announce the dates yet because they are not confirmed yeah. but we are running a full complete set of uh, workshop that will help uh, people who either are having an idea of starting their own business or are already into that phase of starting their own business they can join the workshop and we give them the ABC of uh, starting your own business okay with all the uh, you know everything the templates and everything that they need to take into oh, consideration that's very, that's very good there you go ladies and gentlemen uh, you will get an opportunity to become like rehab uh, as well as an opportunity to do that by attending the workshops and learning about all the tips and tricks that it's required for you to become an entrepreneur uh, rehab one of the things that you just mentioned when we were just speaking right now is the side business you've got some people who are working in organization and they're doing their activities or side business on the side while yeah. they're working mm -hmm. uh what's your take on that um um, it depends highly I cannot say that this is right or wrong there isn't anything right or wrong yeah. uh, 
we we decide what's right for us and what's not uh, and it depends on the nature of the business that you want to start and it depends on your timing how flexible you are uh, working in a private sector for long hours uh, leaving work at 7 and 8 a.m. and then having a side business that requires a lot of your attention and you have to be you know hands-on on the on the project will will have really high risk of not succeeding um, so I would prefer for the person to unless it's a side business that you can uh, assign someone to and, and you know uh, give some attention to it on weekly base or basis have a partner and, or have a partner maybe who is maybe fully dedicated then yeah. maybe um, in in my case and in the case of space the nature of the business required that I give it my full attention uh, and all the time that I could give to this project to uh, succeed yeah. So we, if we if we summarize some of the characteristics, we would say you need to be a risk taker. You need to be someone who have got. Uh, you need to be a decision maker. Mm. You need to be someone who is also passionate. Of course, you need exactly to be passionate. Exactly. Yeah. Doing. Of course. Uh, 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 and these are things that helps for you to jump into uh, uh, the business. And I would sometimes say, uh, I don't. This just this is, this is only my opinion. Is that if you keep on just thinking of something and you don't jump and do it, then you'll never do it. You will never do it. Yeah. You have to. It's just. And then everything else follows. Uh, it's just the first step. That's. Uh, it's probably the the thing in in everything that we do in life. It's it's always the first step that's uh, a little scary, and yeah. people hesitate to take it. But the minute you take that first step, then I assure you, everything else will just follow. Okay, Rehab, If now there is an organization that comes and uh, uh, offers you a job, mashallah, you are a high five. I know that high <laughs> flyer and 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 and, and a star, you. mashallah. Someone comes, an organization comes, a good organization comes and say, Rehab, here is our offer and we would like you to join and they will pay you a fat salary will you join yes or no thank you very much but no i like that <laughs> that is an entrepreneur ladies and gentlemen that is an example of winning ladies and gentlemen that is the founder of space uh rehab mashallah who we all are proud of uh, very very much Rehab, do you have any message would you like to share to our audience before we end up our program uh, first of all i would like to thank you Tariq, and uh, for giving me this opportunity and then i would uh, call out all the people out there who are listening uh whether you have an idea even if you don't have an idea but you think that one day you can make a good entrepreneur start digging for ideas uh and if you have an idea take the first step I love that. I respect that very much, uh, uh, Rehab. Ladies and gentlemen, you've got the idea. It's like you have the ball. Run with it. Uh, Rehab, thank you very, very much for joining us today on Oman Radio FM 90.4 to share with us about the space and its impact to the society. I would like to take this opportunity to wish you the very best and success in all you do, inshallah. Thank you. Same to you. Thank you, Tarek. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of our program for this week. I hope you all had an intriguing time with us. If you have an interesting topic, feedback, or comment that you wish to share about the program, please feel free to write to me at www.tariq.net. That's T-A-R-I-Q.net. I'll be very pleased to hear from you. I wish you all a happy and a pleasant weekend. Ma'as-salama.